Hi everyone. Today we are going to recap on the topic of ratio that we learned yesterday. Ratio is a way of comparing the relative sizes of two or more quantities. Let's look at the diagram. The ratio of the number of pails to the number of spade is 3 is to 2. But is this the actual number of pails and spade? No. 3 is to 2 is the relative size. The actual number of pail is 9 and the actual number of spade is 6. The ratio of the quantities must be expressed in the same unit. We have two boys, Gary and Tim. Gary's height is 1.4 meter. Tim's height is 117 centimeter. What is the ratio of Gary's height to Tim's height? Can we compare the height of Gary and Tim? No, we can't because they are of different measurement. Gary is in meter, Tim is in centimeter. So first we need to change them to the same unit. So therefore, 1 meter is 100 centimeter. 1.5 meter, which is Gary's height, would be 1.5 times 100 and is equals to 140 centimeter. So now I know Gary is 140 centimeter, Tim is 117 centimeter. We can now find the ratio of Gary's height to Tim's height. So Gary's height is 140 and Tim's height is 117. We do not have to put in the CM because both are in the same unit of measurement. For today, we will learn equivalent ratio. We will learn how to write equivalent ratios and express ratio in its simplest form. Let's take a look, take a look at this picture. The ratio of the number of apples to the number of oranges is 4 is to 8. If we grouped the apples and oranges in groups of 2, we can simply say that the ratio of the number of apples to the number of oranges is 2 is to 4. 2 is to 4 means 2 units to 4 units. So from the term 4 is to 8 to 2 is to 4 because we group the apples into 2 in each group. We put 2 apples in each group. We can divide by 2. Realize that 2 is a common factor of 4 and 8. If we group the apples in groups of 4, we can simply say that the ratio of the apples to the ratio of the number of oranges is 1 is to 2. So because we group them in groups of 4, we can take 4, the term 4, divide by 4 is 1, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 4 is also a common factor of the term 4 and 8. Let's think about it. Can the apples and oranges be arranged or grouped in groups of 3? The answer is no, because 3 is not a common factor of 4 and 8. So the equivalent ratios are 4 is to 8, 2 is to 4, and 1 is to 2. And the ratio in the simplest form is 1 is to 2. 
1 is to 2 is the simplest form because we cannot divide this term anymore. Now let's find out the equivalent ratios of this. 2 is to 5 equals to 6 is to how many? So from 2, the term 2 is to 5. We can multiply by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. And 5 times 3 is 15. Realize that we use the multiplicative approach. 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 3 is 15. 6 and 15 has the same common multiple, which is 3. 15 is to 12 equals to how many is to 4? So now, I look at 15 and 12, and I know that their common multiple is 3. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 4 times 3 is 12. Do you see that I use the multiplicative approach? Let's look at this sum. 3 is to 4 equals to how many is to 12? Answer given was 11. Do you think the answer is correct? Please do think about it and we shall discuss in class. Alright children, now it's your turn to try the sums. Please take out your worksheet, the video worksheet and do this sum. Let's summarize. Today we learned equivalent ratios. We learned how to write equivalent ratios and express ratio in its simplest form. Goodbye.